Rexamining the research paper titled Genetic Insights into the Ancient Middle East, Lost Tribe DNA, 2024, a case study of haplogroup TM70 and the Ain Ghazal 835 remains. Abstract. The study of ancient DNA provides a unique window into the past, allowing researchers to trace genetic lineages and uncover the movements and interactions of ancient peoples. This paper explores the genetic connections between individuals with the Y-DNA haplogroup TM70 and the Ain Ghazal 835 remains, which trace their paternal lineage to a common ancestor. The Ain Ghazal site, located in modern-day Jordan, offers invaluable insights into the genetic, cultural, and historical context of the pre-pottery Neolithic B period. Introduction Ancient DNA analysis has revolutionized our understanding of human prehistory, providing tangible evidence of genetic continuity and migration. One such discovery, the Ain Ghazal 83-5 remains, offers an opportunity to examine the genetic lineage and historical significance of individuals belonging to haplogroup TM70. This paper seeks to explore how these ancient remains, discovered in one of the earliest and most continuously occupied sites in the Near East, help us reconstruct the tapestry of human history in the region. Historical Context of Ain Ghazal Ain Ghazal is an archaeological site located on the outskirts of Amman, Jordan, known for its significance during the pre-pottery Neolithic B, PPNB period, approximately 8,600 years ago. This site was among the largest and most complex Neolithic villages in the Near East, characterized by its monumental architecture, elaborate sculptures, and a sophisticated society that practiced early forms of agriculture. Genetic Analysis and Haplogroup TM70 Haplogroup TM70 is a Y-DNA lineage with deep roots in the ancient Middle East. It is characterized by the M70 mutation and is predominantly found in the Levant and Mesopotamia. The genetic diversity and prevalence of haplogroup TM70 in these regions suggest its significant role in the cultural and technological advancements of early human societies. Phylogenetic analysis by family tree DNA has linked this haplogroup to the Ain Ghazal 83 to 5 remains, aligning them with a broader genetic narrative of migration and innovation. Methods the ancient DNA from the Ain Ghazal 83-5 remains was extracted and analyzed using modern techniques that accommodate the challenges posed by degraded samples. The genetic material was compared against contemporary and ancient DNA databases to determine haplogroup placement and potential lineage connections. The analysis was contextualized with archaeological and isotopic data to reconstruct the lifestyle and movements of these ancient peoples. Discussion The Ain Ghazal 83-5 remains offer a glimpse into the genetic past of the ancient Middle East. Despite the challenges in ancient DNA analysis, such as degraded samples and incomplete data, the placement of Ain Ghazal 83-5 in the TM70 haplogroup lineage provides evidence of a continuous paternal line from the Neolithic inhabitants of Ain Ghazal to the peoples of the broader Fertile Crescent. This finding underscores the importance of the region as a genetic and cultural crossroads. Haplogroup TM70 is associated with several significant technological and cultural advancements. Its presence in the Levantine Corridor highlights the role of these early societies in disseminating agricultural practices, crafting tools, and fostering early urbanization. These innovations set the foundation for the development of complex societies in the ancient Near East. Conclusion While the Ain Ghazal 83 after 5 remains tell a localized story, their genetic legacy contributes to our broader understanding of ancient human migration and interaction. The continuous paternal lineage from these ancient remains to modern descendants of haplogroup TM70 illustrates the enduring connections of human history. 
Further research and technological advancements in ancient DNA analysis will undoubtedly continue to shed light on the intricate web of human ancestry, migration, and cultural development in the ancient world. References Lazaritis I. at al. 2016 Genomic Insights into the Origin of Farming in the Ancient Near East Family Tree DNA Title Genetic Landscape of West Asia Y Chromosomal Differentiation Key Points 1. Genetic Differentiation in West Asia West Asian populations show notable genetic differentiation influenced by their geographical location classified into upland and lowland populations Upland populations include those from the Anatolian, Armenian, and Iranian plateaus, whereas lowland populations include those from the Levant, Mesopotamia, and the Arabian Peninsula. 2. Haplogroup Analysis Utilizing data from 12 haplogroups, including CM130, EM35, and TL206, an MDS analysis was conducted to understand the West Asian genetic landscape. Haplogroup T variants, TM184, TL206, TM70, show Asiatic characteristics with a clear upstream linkage. 3. Geographic and Linguistic Subdivision The genetic clustering corresponds with linguistic distinctions, separating Indo-European and Turkic speaks in upland regions from Semitic speakers in the lowlands. This separation is traceable to the Neolithic period. 4. Undersampling of West Asian populations Compared to neighboring Europe West Asia, including areas like Transcaucasia and the Armenian Highlands, remains undersampled in genetic studies, though these regions hold significant historical and genetic insight.